So let's get that food production going. We'll just make one produce one take in wheat, the other take in meat. Hmm. I'm being told I need another oracle. Well, you might not be wrong. Everyone's pleased, huh? At least now people should stop complaining about the lack of food in the city. I'm lucky to have a job with unemployment this high. It's just moan, moan, moan with you guys. I got no food, I got no job. Wolves are eating me. I'm forced to work in coal mines or marble quarries, it's the only industry. Just nothing but complaints from these guys. They don't know how good they got it. Alright, Caesar wants his meat, but we're way ahead of him. The sausage factory keeps it pumping out to have a job with unemployment this high. all the time. Ah, so we're gonna cut it now, I wonder. Is it better to have better housing or worse housing, Jake? It's always better to have better housing. If you can have a city of nothing but grand insulae and luxury palaces, then that, in my eyes, is a perfect city. As long as it can stand immortal. But we'll get onto that another time, because that's a whole different can of worms. Right, I'm actually going to want to turn this area into a new kind of development zone. I'm grateful to these industries for making me the money that they have, but they're going to have to make room. I think oracles shall be erected so that I can tear down the old uh, the old religious areas. Oh, oh, damn! How did you fall down from lack of uh, engineer post when you're right next to the engineer post? What a mystery! You're joking me. You gotta be. Where are you anyway? A wheat farm or a pig farm? Wheat it was. Oh! Oh, I can get ninth then. No point in having nine if you can't have ten though. But still, there is this wheat, f uh, this little piggy farm. Mm, no, I think you're pretty useless. Oh, we'll have another wheat farm. Why the heck not? I need to zone this area. Farewell, guys. You done good. We will reset up our marble quarries elsewhere. I'm thinking here. I need four, was it? Done like dinner. And again, I can stick more, uh, more tents around here, because that's what we like, more tents. Tents are like horses, need more. But we don't even need to connect onto them. We just build a strip, and let the tents come to us. Mm, only need two distance away. I'm lucky 
to have a job with unemployment this high. Still, I feel like I need a bit more space here. Hmm. Well, we can always build these tents again later. Only peasants. Might be okay. I don't know though. I do not know. This is going to be our new patrician block. We're going to have some lovely patricians looking out over the uh, the rest of the scummy world. None of this made a two by two, which means they're useless. Away they go. These two to get food. In fact, we'll have four all set up to get that meat and the wheat. Interesting to see if this actually works. think about this. In fact, I might even need a calculator to do it with, but we got uh, one, two, three, four, and I produce 160 per month, huh? Well, let's just build. See how it goes. Which means these guys are going to need all the uh, all the luxuries of Roman life, much like our last block did. But we have tons of unemployment to soak up. Seventy-six percent, no doubt. They're going to be needing it. for them. So, let's do their uh, their needs as they come. They're going to need a temple. They're going to need two temples, in fact. And I don't think Ceres is the best one to hail at the moment. Neptune and Venus. I'm going to feel bad for the other ones, so we'll give them icons. Uh, this place seems okay. Ceres, Mercury, 
Otherwise, they'll get jealous. And we can't be having that. What in the world just fell down? How in the world does that even happen? It's like it's telling me not to build another wheat farm. Well, I don't take that for an answer. Jake, what can the gods do to you in the worst case? Ceres can make all your farms not work. Neptune will conjure up a big storm, preventing any uh, fishing boats from working. It'll also sink all your fishing boats, and it'll stop traders from coming along. Mercury will launch fireballs down onto your ground, destroying buildings. <clears throat> Mars will conjure up some uh, local barbarians to attack you, and will uh, make your soldiers desert. And I'm not talking about the fruity variety. Uh, what else? Venus will just make everyone very unhappy. I think she'll pollute your water as well. Terrible individual that she is. These guys aren't getting any labour access just yet. Hmm. Mm hmm. We can do what, we do what we did last time then. Notice that we're not quite as flash with the cash as we were last time. These industries don't buy up quite as much as I would like them to. We buy our pottery though, perhaps I should consider setting up pottery business. Let's turn that consideration into a reality. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, and a warehouse for only pottery. We'll also need a warehouse for furniture and timber, but there won't be that much demand for timber. I'll import it now just to show how flash I am. furniture going. Just two should be plenty. The only people that are going to be eating it up are the patricians, and they're not even around yet. Same with the pottery. Just want to make sure there's no small tents kicking about, skanking up my town. to buy up my uh, my marble. Give me the money. I do need it. The Emperor thinks she may prove satisfactory. Thanks, boss. Ah, I have made a, uh, a foolish mistake here. I need to get water over here. For. You were for pottery. Well, let's get that pottery. Mm. Ooh. Ah, let's turn this into a, an opportunity then. Go to these useless pottery barns, stick our reservoir here. I will show you the marvel of uh, Roman architecture here. D. 
did you know, and I bet you did not, that water can flow like this? <laughs> you can flow it along roads with, uh... yeah, doesn't make much sense anyway you cut it, but that's how it works, and that's how you can get water over here, despite having all these roads in the way, and it still gives you the ability to There we go. Build businesses adjacent to it. So I knocked down two, I erected two, and stick that pottery barn over here. Roman magic. Jake, have you considered playing Dwarf Fortress? Nah, not my kind of game. Do you think you can tank the god's wrath, Jake? I'd rather not. Roman physics. I don't have to explain this. Entertainment they need. They will need a uh, theatre. They will certainly need a coliseum and. Damn it all, I didn't leave space for one. But I could make space. Gatehouse is going to need uh, lions and gladiatorial combat. Huh. Cool. Right, Caesar wants his meat market. He can have it. Me, I got bigger things to worry about. Space is certainly going to be an issue here. But we'll just have to rise to the challenge. <laughs> These places are going to be extremely uh, undesirable as well, so we'll do what we can with plaza, expensive though it is. And large statues, expensive though they are. And oracles, because they've got great reach. We'll knock them down if need be. It's not all, though. They're going to need uh, academy coverage. And they're going to need hospital coverage. Jeez, these things really chew up the space, don't they? Hmm. with one less temple. Get my hospital coverage going. But I still need my theatre and my amphitheatre. <sighs> and my bathing uh, area. to zone this area as well, just to make space. Think of that as a last resort, though. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm enjoying doing this map, but I think I'm going to leave it there for now. It's high time I moved on to Riku. Leave that as Luck Dunham. Leave the Empire, and I'll take the stream down just for a short while. And we'll be back in with Ryukyu. See you in just a short moment. <laughs>